Hello, everyone. I'm joined by Union City resident Christina Garcia, and she is one of five individuals in the United States of America who have received a 2022 $10,000 grant award from the Coors Light Corporation. Christina, first of all, thank you for joining me and tell me, what is this award for? Well, thank you for having me. Um, so this award is through Coors Light Leader Leaders of the Year program. Coors Light is honors uh, Latino leaders who have spent some time uh, trying to make impacts in their communities. And this year, yeah, they're awarding $50,000 in grants to nonprofits nationwide. Um, so we've been really lucky enough to get 10,000 of that. So specifically, um, what you received this grant for is something that you've been involved with for about five or six years. I believe you started this back in 2017. What yeah, so in 2017, I started my career in, in sustainability, and I felt that there was a real lack of representation of Latinx people um, within these jobs. And so I created the group Latinx's in Sustainability to help kind of bring together the, the Latinos that are working in the space, but also to help address the barriers that there must be to entry into this career pathway. Um, so right now we focus a lot on establishing and facilitating pathways for underrepresented and under-resourced uh, Latinos uh, in an effort to diversify the sustainability workforce. Are there other individuals involved uh, with you in this particular project that you deal with? Yes, uh, there are. We are right now we're a team of five within the leadership team. Um, and actually one of the five, uh, I don't know if I can shout her out, Carolina Ramos is born and raised in Hudson County um, and is really active in the Hudson County Community College's uh, Latino Advisory Council. So we're really lucky to have her on board. So being one of five recipients this year nationwide, um, I would assume that um, you were thrilled when you got the, the award. Are you the first Hudson County uh, Latina that has received this award in the past? I'm not sure how long Coors Light has been involved in this particular program, uh, pre you know, presenting these grants. At. Are you the first from this area, from Hudson? That's a good question. Uh, that I know of, they they the start the program started in 2006. Um, I can look into it, but they have you know we've had a few calls and they haven't mentioned anyone else from Hudson County. So, in a nutshell, if you were to describe, you talked about sustainability. If you were to describe um, what the ultimate goal, what your ultimate vision is for this five year old project, what would you say? Obviously, Hudson County is an urban area. What would you say? Yeah, I would just say that, you know, when I say sustainability, I'm talking about jobs that are part of creating the solutions to to react to climate change. Um, and, you know, it, I've only lived in Hudson County now three years, but even in the past three years, I've seen this, this immense rainfall that ha is happening every summer and it's happening more and more. It's causing flooding. Like we're seeing the impacts of climate change. And so what we're trying to do is get more Latinx representation into the decision-making rooms about action towards climate change. And our goal is to see, you know, the level of representation um, that Latinos contribute to the country in decision-making opportunities and careers and jobs around climate change. So is there a specific target area that you will use the $10,000 grant for once you receive it? Um, no, you know, we, the, in the within the leadership team, we're we're across the country. It just happens to be that two of us live in Hudson County, but we are going to try to distribute that money, you know, where, wherever it's needed. But it'll it'll go to benefit the Latinx community. Anything else you want to add about uh, receiving the the grant award? Um, just that you know, we're really grateful to to Coors Light for for launching this initiative for supporting. Um, Latinx leaders like myself and, and, and this initiative that, that helps support um, our Latinx community, which sometimes requires resources like, like funding. So we're really grateful and we're excited um, to be able to, to use this. And you know, we'll probably use it towards some professional development grants so that people can you know, get certifications, go to conferences, whatever it is that they need money to, that money for that they may, may not have at this time. Um, we're hoping to use some of the funding to, to support that. 
one other quick thing was was this something that you applied for this particular grant um and if not how did it come about do you think so i i did find it i can't remember how i found it um and i applied but also i was i was lucky enough to be nominated you know by people that have, have seen what I've been doing for the past five years. And I think, you know, I wasn't told, but I think a combination of, of, of those, of those nominations um, helped, helped me get the award. And well, Christina, thank you for joining us on Hudson TV to talk about the award. Congratulations. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome.